We're the Taste Cadets, and we travel the world to learn about different cultures through their food. The downside to all that traveling is the negative impact it can have on our planet. So we're going on a little trip to Wales to learn how we can do that a little bit more sustainably. I love this city! The climate change, I know you're supposed to feel bad about it, but that's the only thing I've got. I need to learn about it before I can actually do anything about it. I think we're basically on the edge of doing irreversible damage, or we already have done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. So yeah, it's, it's pretty healthy. peak, basically. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know too much. We're here to learn. That's why we're going to Wales. Flights aren't the best thing for the environment, so we're swerving completely on this trip. And to be honest, it worked out for the best. Oh, your flies are on then. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> so we're going to, obviously we're getting a train to Bangor now. From there to Snowdonia, and then we're meeting up with Chris. We just got to Bangor, and we've got to get to Lamberis. The bus is in 40 minutes, but it's every two hours. So if we miss this, we're basically here till tomorrow. While they might not be the most frequent, trains and buses are the best way to travel locally. So we're making the most of it by making new friends. You from around here then? Eating new snacks and taking in the sights and sound. <laughs> sound cowboy. What you Pretty special place here, man. Yeah, man, it is special, you know. Shall I do the honours? Yeah, do the honours, yeah. man. <laughs> that smells amazing. That's for you, brother. Cheers. Cheers, it's Yechita. 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 Yes. Great to have you, yeah? Yes, boys. Mm. Thanks for having us. Mm. Oh, that's banging, man. So we got some Snowdonia mountain lamb shoulder and smoked it with juniper. Chili sauce here with the rendering juices, burnt leaves. This land is like local. It's like yeah, yeah, it's just from the next mountain over here. Totally sustainable. Yeah. My butcher butchers it for me. He's just a mile down the road, you know, so it's low carbon footprint. The farmers, the butchers, fishmen, there's fruits and veg people here, my rock stars. Oh, yeah, this is like the coolest part now, yeah. yes. We've got oh, the fat in. Whoa, that's the better yeah. you want, baby. I'm going to go in and play Templar, boys. All right, yeah. mama. Nice Thank one, you. man. Do you know what? Whenever we've got a fire on the go, it's always just us three and maybe some close ones. But other than that, it's just us. That's the best thing ever, man. We're on the whole camera crew. <laughs> Ignore them for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to completely give up meat to help save the planet, but some things you might want to think about are the importance of eating sustainably and locally sourced meat, like this fire lamb chefed up by a man like Chris. Yes. Some leeks to start with. Amazing. Here we Let's go. go. This is a goat's platter. Well, that well, that that means that that a standing ovation yeah. for yeah. 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 Oh, man. Look, look. Oh, my God. That's gosh. just finger ripping. Boys. Oh, no. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> that is unreal. Yeah. Wow. You can taste that. In fact, there's smokes as well. Yeah. You lot can eat now and stop filming. Nice one. <laughs> Good morning, Wales. We're here in Hlamberis, and now we're ready for some e-bikes. Where are we actually going on the e-bikes? I think we're just going to go around this lake all the way around. Do you reckon they've got charging points, like, for cars? I'd imagine so. It's Wales. Hey, it's zippy, bro. <laughs> bro, I swear on the map he said go that way, didn't he? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, Good. nine milli take Billy for a Billy goat. Oh. Raskin. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Uh, is it possible to take a photo of us, please? There's so much adrenaline in it, was sick. I was doing things out there I would never do on a normal bike. Bro, well, did you see how you see me chatting to those goats? Like the goat looked me straight in the eye and went, nah. respect their environment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Now we're getting the train to the beach. Where are we going? Taking the train from Morfin Madwa, where we are now, to Dovi Junction. Junction. Look at this, mm. sandwich of a view, man. What do you think of our journey so far? Do you know what? Most of the fun I'm having is actually the travel. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, we're here on this beach to 
search out some seaweed for our seaweed dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, can't see any yet. I think we're going to need a local expert. Nice to meet you, mate. And again, there we are. Yeah, Lovely. Sweet. Lovely. Sweet, bro. Yeah, so, so, so well, welcome to my office. So what I do, I, I take people around on coastal foraging courses, uh, show, tell them all about seaweeds, the wildlife, the rock pool life. This is a seaweed hotspot, and right. it's also a biodiversity hotspot. This stuff here is my favourite seaweed. Do you taste that? Onion. Mm. Onion, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, onion and garlic. Garlic, yeah. yeah. It's sea truffle or pepper dulse. Lovely, isn't it? Yes, that's amazing. Different. It's actually mind blowing. Yeah. We've done the, the farm to the table, now we've done the beach to the table. So tomorrow, I, can't, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, I'm excited. We're off to see a stunningly beautiful young soul called Jonathan to see how locals use seaweed in their cooking to help ease up off the carbon. Is it? Mm. So, what are we doing here then? Well, we're going to go down the shore. I want to show you what, what we've been up to. Seaweed apparently generates up to 70% of our oxygen, um, oh, which, yeah, oh, which is amazing. Well, it, it is <laughs> like the lungs of the world. The ocean and the seas have been decimated for hundreds of years. For me, I want whales to be at the forefront of ocean recovery. And that's the yeah. thing about learning your own responsibility. You know, it's, it, it's, not always, it's never coming from a bad place, okay. but it's just you're learning, yeah. do you know what I mean? While I've been planting trees on land, we're hoping to start planting trees at sea. You'd only need 2% of the world's oceans would absorb the whole world's carbon. Apparently, this is up to 30 to 40% can be protein. Gram for grams, more than tuna, more than chicken. So there's a protein source. Yeah, I'm excited to try some of this stuff, actually. So what, um, what sort of stuff are you going to be making for us today? Well, we're going to do, uh, I think it's uh, mainly vegetarian meals. So again, we're going to be incorporating the seaweeds, sometimes in everyday dishes, things like pasta. Let's go and um, cook something up then. Yeah, cool. Say these are ready. These are ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so should we start on this kimchi then? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Nice one. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh, I love the texture crunch. of that kelp, man. Mm. Oh, I love that heat that comes as mm -hmm. well. <laughs> I love the bite to that noodle, man. I'm trying to put my finger on that taste. Yes. I really like it, but it's new to me. Because we haven't had exactly. it before. Yeah, exactly. I've always been conscious, well, not always, but in the last few years, conscious of what I put in my body from like a health perspective, yeah? But not really from an environment perspective. Yeah. Can't believe we're saving the planet just by eating something. And there you go. Banging meal. Do you know what? It feels a proper privilege to be able to look up and just see stars in the sky. I can't remember the last time I seen stars. Yeah, same. It's been a sick trip in the sense of opening our eyes and it making us more aware and responsible moving forward. Like, all the food we've had has been local and yeah. sustainable. We always want to eat local for taste, but never understanding like, the yeah, responsibility yeah, exactly of it. Nah, our meals yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, man. And like traveling on the train, the e doing what we can. I guess if you're going to do a holiday where you're enjoying nature, it makes you think more about what you might be doing to nature. That's a, that's a good point, man. If we carry on the way we're carrying on, then that won't be there anymore. We won't be able to come and enjoy these holidays straight in, just exhaust you. Oh, please. Hang on a minute, Marcus. Now. Thank you. Okay. You have to respect the fire master, innit? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Is that all right? Yeah, how did that feel? I felt scared that I was going to knock the whole thing onto the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you did all right. You did all right. But just don't ever touch the fire again.